vocabulary. Students, we have already learned about present indefinite tense, past indefinite tense, and today you will learn future indefinite tense. Another name of future indefinite tense is future simple tense. It's likewise the same, just like you have the simple name of present simple tense, past simple tense, and now is future simple tense. The important thing in this tense you will learn is that it is an action that has not taken place yet. Some of the things as uh, at the time when you were learning present indefinite tense, at that time you have not learned future indefinite tense. So we will talk about the time which has not taken place yet. So the time which will take place in the future. Just like the action that will take place in future, we will talk about such kind of sentences in future indefinite tense. So there are some signal words that will make you easy and you will easily identify and understand what are future indefinite tense sentences. The sentences, the words like tomorrow, in years, in months, in weeks, in next month, next week, you will easily recognize that these sentences probably describe you about future indefinite tense. Or someday, in the morning, in the evening, in the afternoon, with the help of these signal words, you can easily judge, understand, comprehend, and uh, note down uh, the sentences of the formation of future indefinite tense. Now we will see the formation of future indefinite tense. Now students, we, this, we see the structure of future indefinite tense. Future is just like simple, subject is there and after subject there are will and shall. Will and shall will be used in future indefinite tense. These are the modal verbs. And where these are used, these are used that normally will is used everywhere. However, for classification, for understanding, you can easily understand. You must remember that will will be used with he, she, it, you, they, need. With these subjects, he will, she will, it will, you will, they will, Maria will, Jack will, Ahmed will. So, will will be used with these kind of subjects. And shall we have to use with I or will, or I or we. I shall, we shall. Next, we see the base form of the verb. In future, in definite tense, the first form of verb will be used. So, this is the simple structure of future indefinite tense that subject, will, shall, and base form of the verb. It's so easy for your understanding. Now, let's come to the examples. So students, let's see some of the examples for future indefinite tense. First example is you will discover new things in future. Faisal will go abroad for his graduation. I shall invite my friends for dinner. He will consider my request someday. We shall work together on this project. There are some of the examples. Here you can easily recognize, understand, this is the formation, will is there, will is there, shall is there, will is there, and shall. These are the formation of future tense. But what makes it different from the rest of the four future tenses is that the first form of the verb, the base form. Here you see, this is the first form, discover. It is not the second form, not the third form, not the present participle, not the past participle. Alright, go, first form, invite, first form, consider, first form, verb, first form. So this is very easy for you to recognize, to understand, to write future indefinite tense. Just use of will, shall and first form of verb. With the help of these examples, I hope you will easily complete the given worksheets. Now, uh, before ending this lesson, I want to give you a lesson. 
an important lesson that always respect your parents because they spend their whole life for your future. All right, remember my words that respect at most, at the most you can do for your parents because they spend their whole life for your future. Thank you and have a nice day.